May you not call no sin was made sin. So, so that means on his own account, he knew no sin, but he was made sin. And that sin that he was made is what Satan was seen. But when Satan touched him, he found out that it was a righteous man. And the righteousness of God has to be met. For Satan, killing a righteous man, ah, that is, a, is an unrighteousness. And God has to balance it. So the mighty Holy Ghost went to her. He said, I'm here searching for a righteous man that was killed unjustly. So it was not just that Jesus rose. When Jesus was rising, he said, they asked, I'm, I'm now paraphrasing, they asked him, how do we balance the ledger? How do we balance the ledger? We killed you and you don't deserve it. You're a righteous man and you died. So the whole of hell has to pay for killing a righteous man. Jesus said, this is my payment. Let every man that has ever been killed because of his unrighteousness be set free. That was what the Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 5. Huh? From that day, Satan doesn't have right to hold anybody. It is not actually optional for somebody to be... Before somebody ever expressed his faith in Christ Jesus, his, everything about him has been paid. Before you ever walked in holiness and sanctification, everything about it has been paid. Before you ever walked in the anointing, I told you people that the third work of grace is what? To receive power. Before you ever walked in the anointing, it has been paid for. The Bible said it in the book of Ephesians chapter 1. It said that you will know the greatness of the power of God to you all. When God raised Jesus from the dead, that means that is rising is a proof that all power has been invested. There is power. Power to live above sin. When you see people fornicating, you wonder what you wonder how did a man step down to this level? Because, because of your understanding of what Jesus did, your God status has been activated. Huh? When a man enters into the revelation of what I'm teaching, he enters the God mode. There is a God mode. And the Bible said that he that is born of God does not sin. It is God mode. Don't you remember say God mode? <laughs> revelation of whom Jesus sins and what he has done and how he transmitted it to you by the power of his resurrection activates your God mode. So when you step out, he said, somebody like me cannot fornicate it is not pride it is the god dimension huh? the god mode is activated at that realm so the power of living holy is not first a doing it is first a being and that being is entered into by revelation certain revelation oh my god pray for one minute say god open my eyes Pray it in prayer. Open my eyes. Open my eyes so that I will properly balance the ledger. Open my eyes so that I will properly balance the ledger. Your struggles are because you have not seen. If only you can see. When Jesus died, I was there and I died with him. My old man is hanging down on the cross. Oh my God. I reckon, I reckon. My accounting, 
my accounting. My ledger is balanced, oh God. I balance my ledger. I am there. My old man is there on the cross. I balance my ledger. Somebody balance your ledger. The reason why you struggle with sin is because you don't know how to balance the ledger. You don't know how to balance the ledger. Record, record by revelation. It takes revelation for you to be able to balance ledger. A man cannot reckon when he has not gotten revelation. You need to balance the ledger. Improve my capacity in spiritual accounting. In Christ, you are not an angry man. You are a gentleman that Satan is trying to make angry. You are not fighting for victory. You are fighting from victory. In Christ, you are not suffering from masturbation. You are a holy man that Satan is trying to put masturbation upon. It makes all the difference. Revelation, revelation. Revelation helps you to balance the ledger. If you don't have revelation, you cannot balance the account. Let's go fall from our eyes. Let's go fall. Let the power of the enemy that he has brought over us, let the veil of darkness that has shielded us from entering into the light of the revelation of what Jesus has brought us into. Let it fall away. Let it fall away. A new thing happens to us today. And an entrance is made for us into the marvelous light. Starts. I will trust the Holy Spirit to help us to understand the gospel. The scripture said in the book of Romans chapter 1 that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God. It doesn't matter whether he's seen, whether, whatever it is, the gospel is the power. So we need to, under, by tomorrow God helping us, we understand the gospel. The understanding of the gospel hands to you the power. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You can cast your seed and offering. And tomorrow we meet again by 5 p.m. I'm trusting God to be able to get to the principle of identification and substitution. Before we come to that point that you are expecting, by the time we come to the test stage, when we now pray, the power of Satan, some of you are actually demonized. But when you hear my teaching, including the demon we live, Bless in Jesus. We believe God's word came to you with accuracy and power. To connect with the ministry of God's servant, Apostle Edu Dechuku, with unlimited access to life transforming messages, visit www.revivalhubinternational.org. Follow us on all social media platforms at Revival Hub International. For inquiries and partnership, email us at revivalhubglobal at gmail.com.